so yeah and uh, then after after that you can put this um, another ring on top and that's gonna be your base for the next layer then you're gonna take your let me lift it up a little bit like that okay so then you're gonna take your next piece and you're gonna um, you know try to eyeball it where and how high and how wide you know the radius of your cake so how much of the opening you want to have in between the cake layers and then in between the next cake layers because the paper roll is gonna be your next cake layer and uh, then you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna put the paper in Okay, so um, I finished uh, securing my uh, second layer and I wrapped the paper all the way around it and uh, I actually did a little bit of decoration but before that uh, let me show you the um, technical side of it. So what um, I did um, after I secured my drawers and everything inside there I put the next layer of uh, which would be in an instruction second layer of 8 inch diameter base second piece and as I told you yours wouldn't have those ridges yours would have been full circle and I'm just didn't want to throw that thing away and um, uh, be sure that you uh, paint the pole or wrap it with the paper um, underneath inside there so you would be able to um, when you open in your uh, taking out your drawers then uh, you have a very nice finished look inside that was the tip so after that um, placing and securing I glued um, if you can see the glue strings all the way around I glued uh, that base to the uh, drawer uh, tops all the way around and then when I put my second base um, I put the center in it was already in with the with the um, yeah I do believe I didn't mention that let me let me walk you through this when you decided on your uh, second circle uh, second layer of the cake what I did I actually uh, secured um, glue together the chipboard first then I measured literally measured with my ruler the depth of the um, base that will go inside and I cut out the circle the diameter that my base is gonna be as a measurement mine is five inches in diameter that's the base so I cut out the um, center for the tube um, out of base and then when I had this um, chipboard wrapped around my base and I had my um, marks all around and I knew how deep my base is supposed to be then I just simply glued it from the top and from inside okay after I secured my base on a second cake, on a second layer, then I put the whole 
um, um, layer on the pole. I feed it through the pole so I stabilize it on the pole and then only then I put the glue all the way around base so it will be solid. Okay, that's, that is the technical part and what I have left to do, I have a stripe of paper and I trimmed my uh, paper towel roll that was on the top so I trimmed that much and it's up to you how tall your third layer is going to be so it's up to you how much you want to trim off and then I have my stripe of the paper which I'm going to be uh, wrapping around uh, the um, my last layer and that's going to be it um, okay let me glue this uh, together and I will be back and show you a little decorative elements on the bases. Okay, now that I have wrapped the um, the paper around um, third uh, layer of my cake, I can um, show you a little bit of details that um, I'm uh, working right now with. Uh, first of all, when you are trimming the piece of paper, for the next layer you only need to cover not the full depth of layer if you see what I'm saying you do not need to uh, have the full like for example if the depth of uh, the third layer is three inches my paper that I trimmed for this layer is only two inches so the whole inch is inch of paper missing so I'm not covering all the surface because and the same on the second layer if you will take a look I had the paper going just that deep but the layer of the cake is much deeper why? Because you're gonna fill this layer with the stuffing and nobody ever would see that way you will save something you know at least somewhat on the paper. Okay, uh, for the um, ribs where your pa where you paper piecing if it wasn't wonderfully done like mine <laughs> it was not wonderfully done what I did I used my um, uh, flexi flexible modeling paste I used my alcohol inks to blend it to the color of my liking and I used my uh, little template uh, with the uh, brick pattern and um, I use my Helmer spatula that you can find in my store and I mixed I put some of the of this paste in the in big center I put a couple of drips of color and mix I was mixing it with the spatula and after I got uh, the paste to the uh, consistency and the color of my liking, I um, literally 
put my stencil on top of the box or paper and uh, just uh, um, paste it um, ice it on on the cake okay so and here you see this one was on the ridge of the two papers um, usually you would try to do overlapping with your papers but in my case um, it was slightly but when I pulled the you know pulled the um, chipboard and started to bend it the seam became open I'm sure you wonderful crafters know what to do about it and on the other side unfortunately my paper wasn't was not uh, long enough so I pieced it as you remember and I pieced it the wrong way because instead of putting on top of this two I put it underneath and I have this two seams which is okay but I wasn't really happy about it so I was trying to match it with the paper and I mix it with uh, some other colors and on the top layer you can see a darker brick patterns going on I was going for the black um, trying to match this color of the paper so but you still can see the seam and the paste is still drying and I'm probably gonna wash it white wash it a little bit to uh, bring it all together you know another uh, fun thing I did I put the um, um, charms on the um, door do, knobs I put the knobs on the drawers and um, yes this one is um, I used Tim Holtz um, uh, screw on knobs you know those two two things that you screw one into each other then I put um, his um, clip or pin whatever you call it and I put it on two rings and attach it to the drawer so um, you can pull it you know it's just a decorative piece as well so that was this one then for that drawer I just um, used regular um, drawer um, handle okay so you can put the stuff I, I don't I think it's just was matching better with the typewriter in here this one I use just a little Tim Holtz charm one of his bubbles and that one is um, the same um, like a drawer knob okay so it wasn't like oh it's flying so it's not really the best one but hey <laughs> okay so yeah that's my progress so far and now is the most fun part okay woohoo I can I can woohoo I can blow oh and I painted the button can you see my finger in there woohoo you won't be able to see it soon because we are gonna start on actual pin cushioning okay well stay tuned uh, I'm gonna walk you through bye